South Korea's military successfully communicated over the weekend with its first military reconnaissance satellite. Now, the launch comes not long after Pyongyang's own spy satellite launch last month. Our North Korean Affairs correspondent Kim jong sil has more. Three, two, one. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base on Saturday at 3.19 a.m. Korea Standard Time. It carried South Korea's first military reconnaissance satellite into space. South Korea's defense ministry said the satellite was placed in orbit and succeeded in communicating with a foreign ground station at 4.37 a.m. Korea time. And at 9.47 a.m., the satellite made communication with a South Korean ground station as well. The satellite will pass by the Korean peninsula twice a day and is expected to provide surveillance on North Korea. The defense officials added the South Korean military has secured a, quote, independent space surveillance and reconnaissance capability from the launch. We asked one of the top experts in aerospace engineering here in South Korea how Seoul satellite is different from Pyongyang's. We have a uh, very good, you know, the like uh, improved satellite system, including the Earth observation payload camera system. So we, we can produce those very high resolution satellite system comparing to North Korean capability. Defense Ministry officials said the South Korean satellite can identify objects less than 30 centimeters in size from an altitude of 400 to 600 kilometers. This is much better than Pyongyang's spy satellite, which reportedly has a limited resolution range of around 3 meters per pixel. But Professor Zhang warned that a single satellite won't nearly be enough to detect Pyongyang's nuclear threats in real time, which is why the South Korean military plans to launch more by 2025. Korean military plans to launch four additional satellites that are implementing SAR payload system. SAR means SAR, which is representing synthetic aperture radar, okay? That is able to take images in very high resolution without regard to day or night and any weather condition. Professor Zhang added that South Korea may need to send many more satellites into space to detect Pyongyang's threats, giving us a glimpse of the need to prepare for space diplomacy. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.